Sabina Wanjiru Chege, a teacher by profession who up until her joining of politics worked as a journalist, an aggressive lady who never thought even for a second she will ever be a politician. Her political career took a different twist when she was selected in the Parliamentary Education Committee and even elected chair, a huge responsibility which has both been challenging and rewarding in equal measure. The reasons why the students actually go on strikes, they are different reasons. Mm -hmm. they do, they are, it, it's not the similar. The only thing I've seen is that it is not something that just happens overnight. It's something that has, builds up. What uh, the ministry needs to do is come up with proper regulations. And especially if there's um, some misunderstanding within the school, they should actually have a proper procedure on how should it be reported. And there were so many things that I'm happy that what was part of the recommendations of my committee, the government listened to it, and now we can comfortably sit back and wait for um, the, the rolling on the, on the whole thing of the, the project of laptops. I know they have already done the pilot for three schools per county. And hopefully by the end of this year, every other school will have a laptop. So at least now I'm comfortable and I come breathing in and out and I say we have achieved something that the Jubilee government promised Kenyans. Having won the Women Rep Fund petition in court and allocated at least 4.5 million per county, Sabina is out to invest the money on education, women, the youth and the disabled in Moranga County. I think the first thing I did is education. I'm in education and I did um, give bursaries. I gave over 360 students bursary, that is the ones in secondary schools and some um, in the universities and technical training institutes. I also give scholarships. I've also been giving water tanks to our primary schools because personally I carried um, a jerry can when I was going to school. Um, and till now, water is a challenge in Muranga, despite that we give Nairobi water. Even though they won the petition, Sabina says there are still many hurdles against women, but all is not lost. Sabina is optimistic that things will change for the better. Through it all, Sabina has learned to strike a balance between work and family. She has also learned to appreciate herself as a woman and found ways to make herself happy. Um, I have a family, I have children. I actually got my third child when I was in parliament. When it comes to um, a family, sometimes you have to sacrifice. Sometimes you need to really sit down with your family and they understand the kind of job. Sometimes I have to travel, sometimes I have to put up more hours so I get home late. Um, and when then I'm available, then I just decide to sit in the house and sit at home or just take a holiday and just stay with my family. And as we wind up the interview, Sabina urges women to stay together and support each other in all their endeavors. It's a high time that the women, men of this nation support each other. It's a high time that the women embrace, um, even the, the whole nation, not only women. Women and men embrace the leadership of women. So as she leaves to go to Moranga and attend to her people, it is evident that she is a true leader who has the interest of her county at heart. For Women's World, my name is Ondiro Oganga.